Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Realm of Ori. In this video, we will continue with Volume 16, Chapter 1, The Betrayal, Part 4. And before we start, this video contains spoilers from the Tensura Light Novel. And by the way guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get notifications for upcoming videos. So without further ado, let's get into the video. The shy Masayuki thought about the two men he had met more than once. He also remembered how nervous he had been when these important imperial dignitaries were mentioned, because he was afraid, he would act rudely. Please call me minutes, Masayuki Dono. I don't feel comfortable being called, San, by you, who have the same face as his majesty. Ha ha ha, minutes is right. When Masayuki Dono shows up, I get all worked up. It feels like his majesty is looking at me, and that gives me more power than usual. The dapper minutes and the serious Calgurio, whose left eye was covered by an eye patch, both smiled to make Masayuki feel better. Are you Venom Kun? Leave the assistance to us. After saying that, Minutes looked at Kornu. Kornu's movement was then slowed by an invisible force field. The effect of the Minutes' unique skill oppressor should have been taken away. Haven't you lost your power, Minutes? Yes, I did. But since it was available before, it should be easy to get it again, right? I envy you. I no longer feel like I can do anything. Even though my body is empty, it's still pretty easy for me to store magicules in it. As if to back up what he said, Calgario's strength started to grow. He quickly went beyond his limit and went crazy. His mucous membrane started bleeding. If it wasn't treated, it would kill him, but in this labyrinth, that didn't matter. He had as many resurrection bracelets as he wanted, which he got from somewhere, so he didn't care what happened to his body. You're making too much of it. I won't be able to show my face to the dead if I can't do this much. Because the two men were helping, Venom saw hope in this situation. Also, a few men came up to Venom and offered to help. At first glimpse, Venom saw the men and didn't hesitate to accept. That would help a lot. Don't even try to figure out how to beat him, just try to hold him back. Got it. It looks like things are getting more interesting. We're safe now that I am here. Just leave everything up to me. They were all from Sir Mounders, and they came because they were interested. I will give the orders. So, folks, let's get moving. Calgurio started making decisions for some reason and no one said anything about it. After getting help from five people, Venom, in a state of support, went on the attack against Cornu. Oh, you worms. Don't get too excited. Cornu was very angry, but he kept his cool. While keeping Masayuki from running away by controlling how hard he hit, he started to move to take out the enemies one by one. Surprisingly, though, the group that came together on the spot worked well together. The six of them, which include Venom, made up for the huge difference in their skills by being smart and brave, and by following each other, they were able to buy some time. Masayuki, this way, quick, get out of here. If you get to the research facility, you should be able to get to the other levels, right? Bernie and Jiwoo were the ones who got Masayuki's attention. Ah, you guys, I'm sorry. I'd like to say sorry in a proper way, but I guess now is not the right time. You should follow me no matter what. Huh? Wait, wait, what will Jiwoo do? Bernie was going to be Masayuki's bodyguard, but Jiwoo wasn't moving and was doing some kind of magic spell. Yeah, you shouldn't be worried about me. I'll put on a mask and act like Masayuki to throw him off. Jiwoo was the one who turned around. He had changed, and now he looked just like Masayuki. Quickly, he doesn't seem to be coming after you, so Jiwoo's plan should be able to get around him. We'll use that chance to get away. It looks like that was part of the plan they had made before coming here. Kornu couldn't see Jiwu morph into Masayuki since those who had rushed to support him were standing about. Masayuki was hesitant at first, but it didn't last long. I understand. If I stay, I'll only bring everyone down. He didn't want to agree to the plan, but he did. There was chaos in the control room. The enemy that showed up out of nowhere was much worse than they had thought. Hey, have you figured out what the existence value of the man heading for Masayuki is? Got it. It was about 1.8 million but when they got mythical grade gear, that number went up to 2.8 million. What? That's terrible. Ramirez was very upset by Alpha's report, but she knew that just complaining wouldn't help. All she could do now was try very hard to come up with a solution. It is said that mythical grade gear gives its power to the person it knows to be its master. Albert Dono's existence value was more than doubled, but even so, it seems like he hasn't used it to its fullest potential yet. Ramirez agreed with what Beretta said. Even though mythical grade gear was rare and awesome, it was only threat when it was in the hands of the enemy. What will we do? We're being driven back by that Zalario guy, even with trainee Chan and Cherries. 
Also, Venom and the others can't beat that Cornu guy. It made sense for Ramirez to be worried. Venom had changed into a demon peer, and the value of his existence had gone up to 400,000. The leader of the surmounters, on the other hand, was at 300,000, while the remaining two were at 200,000. Minutes and Calgurio, who were the last of the Imperial Army, had lost much of their power and now had existence values of less than 10,000. People didn't expect them to be a strong force, and you could even give them credit for being willing to fight in this battle. Those two, on the other hand, were very lively. Oddly enough, Minutes was using his lost unique skill, Oppressor, to its fullest. Even though he was a prisoner of war, he was wearing a stylish suit. This gave Ramirez the impression that he was even more powerful than Venom. And for some reason, Calgario's existence value had been going up for a while, and it had now reached 400,000. Even though the rate of growth had slowed, it was still going up, which incomprehensible. It was an interesting thing to happen. Ah, with my ability, I'll bring you back to life even if you die. So go ahead and utilize everything you've got. Masayuki is the main cause of trouble. You mean what? He'll be sent here even if he dies, but if he's taken away, that's it, right? So I think it's best to get him out of there. I see. Bernie and the others are working on getting him out of there. She was astounded that Bernie and the others had reached the same conclusion as she had, and that they had begun to act before they had even been given orders. First of all, Masayuki had a weak heart and would never be able to kill himself. Even if something bad happened, he probably wouldn't be able to get away by killing himself. On the other hand, she could feel safe if Bernie was going to go with him. Contact Bernie. Tell him to set their escape route to this place. I'm sure you know that if something goes wrong, you just have to do what you have to do. Understood. Alpha sent out the telepathy net right away after Ramirez told her to. The encryption process worked perfectly, and Bernie got the command without any delay. Well, I guess that's about all we can do. The battle status of each location was shown in each section of the big monitor screen. No matter where they were, their friends were having trouble, and things were not going well. We can't do anything without Rimuru. It was a terrible time. We wouldn't have been in such a bad position if the Guardians had been awake. You're right, but, Beretta was right, that much is true. If they had been as strong as they usually were, they wouldn't have been so much behind. Ramirez, on the other hand, felt accountable. Ramirez's life in the Jura Tempest Federation was something that could never be replaced. Beta, who was keeping an eye on how much power was left in the magicules, yelled out in a hurry. There is an emergency. What the hell is going on this time? It was expected, but Veldora Sama magicule supply has been cut off. At this rate, the city will be back on the ground in less than 10 minutes. What the? Does that mean that Master has lost? She couldn't stay depressed and expect things to get better, so she had to think positively and do what she could. So, how is the evacuation going? Nothing wrong with that. It's good that Masayuki Dono was able to convince those who didn't want to leave before he left. There were always people who complained too much, and Rimuru, the capital city, was no different. About 10% of the people, including those who were trying to make money from the situation and foreign merchants, refused to leave. Just hearing Masayuki's voice was enough to get those people to help. Masayuki-sama told them to do it, so they were more than happy to do it. Ramirez was also surprised by the effect, which could be thought of as brainwashing. Gamma, who had been checking out the situation there, said that the city was empty. When Ramirez decided to split up the city, she thought, okay, that's not a problem. The defense function can't be turned on if no one is around. So, it's a shame that the city will have to deal with a lot of damage. Wait a minute, Beretta-chan. If you say that, it will only make me doubt myself. Of course, I completely get that. Well, if it were Rimuru-sama, I'm sure he'd say that we could just start over. That's right, so I guess we'll just have to make a decision and live with it. Ramirez continued to evacuate the city even though she felt like she couldn't do anything. All that was left to do was pray that stray bullets wouldn't destroy the city when it came back down. However, urgent report. On the surface, new enemies have shown up. There are two. Because they are outside the labyrinth, we can't quantify their existence values precisely, but we estimate their numbers to be in the millions. This time, the surface was being watched by Delta, who sent the report. The small monitor was changed so that it was bigger and everyone could see it. Two fallen angels with black wings arrived on the screen. They were a pair of a big, strong warrior woman and a small, pretty girl. Are you kidding me? They both have the same number of wings, indicating that they are seraphim. Ramirez flew around in a panic, feeling like he couldn't do anything. Delta Chan, how do you know that they are the enemy? Perhaps they, 
because those two are making it hard for us to fix the whole Velgren Sama maid. Once the maze is closed, we know we've won, so it's unlikely. Yes, you're right, thank you. At this point, Ramirez was so disgusted by the enemy's plan to bring in 4 million class enemies that she wanted to curse all night. But then a trustworthy ally wakes up. Let me handle the surface grounds. The city named after Rimuru Sama will not be destroyed easily. Barrier Lord Geld, who had grown and changed, had returned. Geld. Ramirez shed tears. Cried tears of joy. The existence value of Geld Sama is over 2.37 million. I've counted all of his equipment, so I'm sure he'll be able to fight off any intruder. That's how Rimuru is. Even with my eyes, I couldn't have predicted such a turn of events. You're right. What a scary, well thought out plan. Another awakening had also been finished. I am also here. I'll go after the other enemy. It was Kumara, the lord of the chimeras. It is estimated that Kumara-sama is worth around 1.9 million. To be so valuable without any special equipment, the adversary is no longer a danger. At Alpha's report, everyone in the control room cheered. As if to prove Alpha's words, a fierce battle also broke out on the surface. Even more surprising was the fact that Geld's men were spread out in different places, setting up a strong barrier to protect the city from the bottle's aftermath. Now we have a chance to win. For the time being, it looks like we'll be fine. Ramirez said that they had won, and Beretta felt better. However, it was too soon to take it easy. The plan of the Phantom King Feldway was not yet done. Instead, everything up to this point had just been a distraction. His real goal was something else. Music